Now we're going to go right to breaking news. A deadly officer involved shooting in Tillman's Corner. Yeah, the deadly encounter happening around 745 after a traffic stop, according to investigators near Highway 90 and I-10. Shelby Myers remains on the scene where the police chief, Lawrence Batiste, just wrapped up a news conference. Shelby, we got a lot of information in the last 30 minutes. Yeah, we really did, Lenise, from Chief Batiste, as you guys mentioned. Uh, also, something a little bit different now. There are a few less mobile police officers out here. Still heavy police presence, though. Uh, you can see kind of here in the back, some of those police officers are talking to witnesses and surrounding a makeshift kind of wall. Behind that wall is where, when we arrived on scene, we did find what we now know as the suspect um, who had a tarp over them. But what we did learn from Chief Batiste just a few minutes ago, he filled us in on what he could. He said an officer was attempting to make a traffic stop on a car on Highway 90. The suspect was armed with a knife, ran out of the vehicle. An officer tased him, and then the suspect was tased again by another officer. Finally, Chief Batiste tells us at least one of his men shot and killed the armed suspect. At some point, the officer uh, initiated he, his electronic device. He tased the individual. Uh, the individual, uh, after the, the taser cycle, the individual got up off the ground, uh, started running again. Uh, the officer is letting uh, the other officers know that he has a subject that is uh, fleeing from him. Uh, officer, another officer arrives on the scene, begins to give commands as well, uh, deploys his taser as well, at which point it cycles, and once it cycles, the individual uh, gets up off the ground again. He's armed with a knife uh, in, in both cases, uh, in both incidents where he was tased, and as a result of that, uh, the officers had to resort to deadly force. Now, live here on the scene, uh, if you guys will take a look back on the scene, an ambulance just pulled up, had its lights on, just came up here. Um, we're not quite sure what's going on now, but we do know, again, there were at least three other people inside of that suspect's car. Three other people are still on scene talking with police officers. Uh, I was talking to James Barber just a few minutes ago, public safety director in Mobile, and he said that he's not sure if the suspect who was shot and killed was the driver of that car or not. He's hoping those details will come out as they talk to the witnesses who were also in that car. Now, he did fill us in, too, that a knife, the knife that the suspect was allegedly carrying has been uh, recovered. They would not release to us how many rounds were fired out here tonight. That's something we're still waiting on. Um, again, internal affairs just beginning this investigation. The Mobile County District Attorney will also assist in this. And we're told more information should be clear in the morning. But again, this is the scene out here right before you get onto the East I-10 uh, way there right uh, on off of Highway 90. So this is what we know so far. Of course, we'll bring you the very latest as soon as we learn it. Hopefully we'll have more information for you on Fox 10 News in the morning. Live in Mobile tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.